Hello everybody, my name is Alush Eisner and welcome to the Canadian Money Talk, the channel about Canadian investing and personal finance. Please like and subscribe. I record two videos per week, so make sure you ring the notification bell to get notified each time one comes out. I want to talk about IPOs or initial public offering. This is what happens when a private company needs more money to expand and the owner wants to get into the really big bucks. So what happens is that they go to an investment bank to go public on a stock exchange. They bring all their accounting records and they talk with bank experts about the market situation, business plan and other intangibles. In the investment bank asks their rich investing friends uh, for how much the company is worth and then the investment bank gives the company less money for the shares. The bank takes calculated risk that the company valuation is wrong and wants to make a profit. Usually the valuations are very accurate uh, being done by experts who have all the company information. So for example, the company is valued at 15 million based on available info. So they will put out, let's say 1 million shares and the investment bank gives the company $10 per share, thereby buying those shares. Um, and uh, to be clear, the bank fronts the money to the company. So it's the bank that's taking that risk. They will value uh, the company at assets less liabilities, plus future expected earnings and cash flows, plus the market situation, the business plan, and other intangibles. Uh, good company shares are sold privately in the quote unquote primary market before ever going on a stock exchange to those same friends or big investment firms who buy big blocks of shares at a discounted price. So for example, $12 per share, but still more than the investment bank gave the company to maintain the investment bank's margin. And uh, only then would things be available to the public. Any pre-IPO shares uh, available to the general public are usually not worth having. My brokerage has some pre-IPO shares available but those have already been picked over by professionals who decided that they couldn't make money on them and you won't either. Anything not scooped up already is either overpriced or just a bad company. Once the shares are available on the stock exchange, quote unquote, the secondary market, the public is initially buying any remaining investment bank shares uh, and past a few hours or days the shares are trading hands between investors, not between the investment bank and investors. The big investing companies and rich investors may want to make their profits immediately and they could start selling as soon as the company shares go on the stock exchange. It's quite normal for the shares to shoot up in the first few days on excitement or expectations especially if the company seems revolutionary. The big blocks of shares owners will sell into this. I was burned some years ago by an exciting company called Rewalk Robotics, which was making exoskeletons for quadriplegics so they could walk. And I got visions of Ripley on the auto law loader in Aliens. And uh, I was thinking about weaponizing the exoskeletons into power armor. The stock doubled on its first day and I thought I was going to be rich. The stock went up over the next week on sentiment and excitement and then did nothing but go down. The company made no money and eventually became a penny stock from $12 or so per share at which they went public, uh, but they still couldn't make a profit and the share price has just gotten worse. I sold it years ago so I avoided the worst of it but still lost a very large percentage of my money. From then on, I will always wait at least two quarters after an IPO to get reports and financials to see how the company is actually doing in real life rather than just expectations. I may miss out on some upside, but there's far less risk uh, the company is going to be bad if they have a track record of making money. So that is my two cents worth on IPOs.
If you have any requests on what you'd like me to cover in future videos, please put that into the comment section. Please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and may you have a profitable day.